Hi, I'm Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking, and uh, we're camping. I even have a beverage. <laughs> Thanks to the scrumble mechanic. So tonight I'm going to do a new one in the uh, Dutch oven here over the fire. I'm going to do a beef enchiladas casserole. So I'll show you um, what we're throwing together and uh, we'll cook her up. Cheers. Mm. So what we need for this tonight is uh, some hamburger, some uh, sharp cheese, and I actually have a mix of sharp cheese and the Colby Jack, diced onion, um, I always use my Montreal seasoning with the beef, some sour cream, um, some oil for the Dutch oven, a bag of Tostitos or Doritos, you can use Doritos too, and uh, chili beans, tomato sauce, red enchilada sauce, and I'm throwing in some uh, Rotel, hot diced tomatoes with uh, habaneros, some like a hot. So let's uh, put her on the fire and get her going. The fire, I have it down low so we have the higher heat. Yeah, it's do, finally straight. <laughs> to do my sauteing. The uh, Dutch oven Nazi over there had to make sure it was perfectly centered. I'm sure Steve Robb will appreciate that. Um, I'm going to toss in one whole diced onion and get that saute in here over the fire. I'm going to throw in some Montreal seasoning for my, you listen to it sizzle, for my hamburger. And I'm going to add the hamburger to the pot start getting this all uh, cooked up. Hello, Helga! <laughs> what are you cooking? I should be Helga Licious. Helga Licious, what are you cooking? The Dark Matter Roman Gnome has appeared. And I have to watch for the video that's going to come out about him. Um, Dark Matters Roman Gnome has had some good adventures and some not so good adventures. All right, I'm gonna let this go and brown here. We'll get this uh, burger cooked up and then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients and get her going. Okay, so my hamburger's done. I'm gonna add the other uh, goodies here real quick. I'm gonna throw in uh, chili beans <laughs> yeah something different for a change yeah like anybody would know the difference and my diced tomatoes and peppers so that makes everything better my red enchilada sauce Let's give this a stir. And uh, while we're here doing this, I also wanted to thank Wyatt Wenable, who uh, brought me back some goodies from a recent trip of his. Pot holder and pretty oven mitt. And a really lovely cutting board. So I want to thank Wyatt Wenable for that. He's been, uh, he was one of my first subs and uh, stuck with me all this time. And I really appreciate it more than he will ever know. Patience is a virtue. From Switzerland. From Germany. Oh. What happened to zip it? <laughs> Germany, Switzerland, what the hell? <laughs> I got the peanut gallery back there, guys. Just so you know. All right, I'm gonna let this go here. I gotta add uh, the, tos the uh, Tostitos next. Um, that's gonna be the binder in it. And uh, We'll get that incorporated. I'm just going to save two cups of uh, Tostitos out though to go with the cheese and the sour cream for our topping near the end. So I saved out what I wanted. I'm just adding the rest here. I have to spill it. That would be bad. One nice thing about the fire. Get rid of the trash quick.
and if this is not soupy enough of what I add, I'm going to add uh, the can of tomato sauce that I have. I want to see just how soupy it got because, once again, this is an experiment. Let me get this broken up. Mixed in. I'm going to let that cook a little bit here. Pull it on. And uh, come back and check it here in about 15 minutes. Okay, so the rest is all incorporated. I did add that can of tomato sauce. And now we're going to add the last couple ingredients, which is the sour cream. And I'm going to spread that over and around. It doesn't have to be elegant which is a good thing. Then I'm going to add my cheese. And I might have gone a little heavy with this, but you know, everything's better with cheese. And then I'm going to add those two cups of Tostitos that I saved out. They're not going to act like, kind of like bread crumbs. Cracker crumbs. Give it a nice crunchy top. Let the cheeses get melted and then it's going to be done. She's pretty well done. Let's zoom in on it there. See if you can see it. I'll take a good picture of it. Oh, there we go. See it bubbling away. And then I'm going to pull it off and I'm going to dish it up. We'll see how this stuff tastes. The big unveiling. I took it off the fire. Let it, let it rest here about 10 minutes. So uh, that ought to soak with the lid on. Boy. So let's see how it looks here. Ooh, that's nice and crunchy yet. That looks pretty darn good. Now comes the good part. Going to dish it up. And uh, for once, instead of seeing if I like this, this stuff, you can see if somebody else likes it. So I guess the guinea pig is going to be my mom. And there you can see what it looks like. Now we're talking about different forms of pigs. You got to <laughs> love it up here. I'll tell you what. So my mom is here up at the campsite and she's going to give this a taste test. So Christ, what do you mean? She's got it. She's already digging into it. <laughs> yeah. She She's not good about weight. I told her she doesn't take good direction. Orgasmic. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, really, guys. really good. So guys, now you know where I get all this from. You can see it. Oh, it's delicious. So Absolutely awesome. So it turns out it was a success. That's a beef enchilada casserole. Really simple. Uh, obviously, you can do this at home. So I'm going to uh, put the recipe down in my description, like I always do. Gather. Easy to do in a campsite, but also easy at home to do in your Dutch oven, actually in your oven. So give it a try. Uh, it turned out a really good success. I'm really happy with it. And uh, join me next time here. Like, if you like this video, like, subscribe, and uh, join me next time here in Pennsylvania, Helpless Pennsylvania Cooking.